what are primary and foreign keys? Well, in these Irwin diagrams, the thing at the top, in the box at the top for each of these entities is actually the primary key. The employee number is the primary key. The project is the primary key. The combination of employee project are the primary key here and here. What is a primary key? Primary key uniquely identifies each row in a table. You don't have to have a primary key in the table, but if you don't, you can't relate it to any other tables. The opposite number to the primary key is obviously the foreign key. It's called a foreign key because it's a copy of a primary key placed in a different table as a key foreign to the different table. Complicated, yes, but here's my foreign key of employee number pointing back to the employee table. The process of primary and foreign key creation is created by the relationships between the two. The result is something called the structure for referential integrity. Referential integrity is the automated checking of constraint values between employee primary key and assignment employee foreign key. What it means, essentially, referential integrity says that if I try to delete an employee, I must go and check the assignment table. If there are any employee numbers in the assignment table that I'm trying to delete from the employee table, then I've got two options. I've either got to delete the particular employee and all its assignments, either by a cascade or deleting the assignments first and then going back to the employee table, or I've got to stop the deletion from occurring. And obviously the other side of it is updating on both sides and adding new rows. I obviously can't add an assignment unless the employee number exists. And in fact, if you see this structure here, we've actually got a three-layered structure. We've got employee, assignment, and assignment detail. If I try to delete an employee, the referential integrity constraints within the database should go in and check assignment and say, oh, I've got another relationship, and then go and check assignment detail. It goes all the way down the chain. It either cascades and does the deletion from the bottom upwards, or it says, go and check this, oh, it's there, oh, it's there, and restrict it. In other words, don't allow deletion of the employee if the child entity relations actually have entries. The other obvious factor is that I can't update this without updating the things underneath it, or I've got to restrict it. I obviously can't insert assignments unless the employee exists. And obviously in this case, there's a many-to-many -many relationship between project and employee. I cannot delete a project without checking the project. And obviously I can't insert a new assignment unless both project and employee number exist. That's what referential integrity does. It maintains the integrity or the validity, the exact or correctness of the references between primary and foreign keys, the integrity of the relations in a relational database.